So I got a pretty typical question from a high school kid here. By the age of 16, he's at the age of 16, and uh, he wants to quit high school. So our friend goes on and says that he's a sophomore in high school, and he it's not that he's not a good student, it's just that he feels that he's wasting his time in high school. He'd much rather go and pursue his passion of strength training, right? And he's heard Elliot Hall say things like, the ills and indoctrination associated with our compulsory education system is all fucked up and things of that nature. You know, my rants against college and, and university educations and stuff like that. Well, make no mistake, I'm gonna preface this entire conversation around the fact that there is a big difference between schooling and education. Make no mistake that education is right at the top of my list of values. In fact, I'll, I'll turn my camera around for a moment. You can see this. That is my library. Do you see that? That's one of my libraries, the one that I happen to have in my gym. And if you look at my desk, I've got books and anime books and um, all types of stuff, right? So I want you to understand the reason why I decided to turn the camera around. Give me a moment. I want you to understand that I value education to a very great degree. It, like I said, it's right at the top there. So when you hear me say these things, you gotta understand that it means that the schooling system is designed in such a way that it doesn't allow you to maximize the amount of ed true education that you could have if you were to self-educate. Now, here's the thing, most people, I'm gonna say 90, 5% of the people that I've ever met are not self-motivated enough. And I've never met a 16-year-old, although you, you may be unique, you know, you may be gifted, that is self-motivated enough to shut out all the distractions, including television, internet, and all the other crap girlfriends, so that they can educate themselves to such a degree that you are great at something. You've gotta be fucking awesome at, about what, you, uh, at what you're about to approach if you're gonna just abandon ship with everything else and then go do it. So my father used to say to me, my father was big on education. My father was a first generation, I'm a first generation American. My father came here from Belize. And the one thing he hammered into our heads was you gotta get an education, you gotta get an education, you gotta get an education. He understood that education was the key to any type of success that you were going to have in America, and that's why he came to America and raised his family here. And we constantly be telling us to read, read books, read books, read books, and I hated it. I hated school, I hated reading books, I hated him for forcing me to do this shit. But what I didn't understand then, and I understand now, and a great deal of the success that you see me have is due to the brainwashing that my father afforded me, which is educate yourself, educate yourself, educate yourself. The thing is, I realized, that educating yourself and going to school are two totally different things, and I'm not gonna go into that rant today. So my advice to you, my 16-year-old friend who wants to drop out of school and wants to pursue his passion is number one. Just for the sake of achievement, I'm going to invite you to stick it out. It's only two fucking years more. Two years, it's nothing, it really is nothing. It may seem like a lot to you at 16, but trust me, blink of an eye, it's over. If you really just cannot stand it and you believe that you're self-motivated enough, I would say homeschool yourself. I, in the United States, we've got, in, in many states in the United States, I'm not sure if all of them do, you've got internet school. I think if you go to k12.com, in my city at least, k12.com, all the, the curriculum for all the school grades are in there and you can go and take a test and get your diploma you know you can go to uh, get your GED is one of the things that a lot of kids that didn't graduate high school did get some sort of achievement under your belt associated with the traditional path right if you decide you want to go to college or not totally different story totally different conversation but being 16 I say get your GED or go to homeschooling or just suck it up and use the next two years. If you happen to be a genius, right? I'm not bragging, but my, my, young, my oldest daughter happens to be pretty brilliant. And I've shared the idea with her that perhaps she could skip high school by studying her ass off and getting her diploma at home. And that way I can teach her other things to do. But um, you know, that's neither here nor there. That's me and my interesting ideas for life. Or crazy ideas, right? 
So that's it. Beyond just approaching it so that you make that, you have that achievement of graduating, getting that piece of paper, cultivate and test yourself on the type of self-motivation that you have and then you have to become great at something. Not good enough, not a warm body, not a mechanical part in a machine, but fucking awesome at something that you can then go and serve the marketplace with it. Because really, if you have nothing to serve people with, then you're, no, you're of no use, you're useless. That's another thing my dad used to say. He'd say, don't be useless. Don't be freaking useless, he would say. This person is useless. Go, you see this guy? And my dad, if you think I'm crazy, you should hear my dad talk. He'd say, look at this guy, he's useless. And he would say it to him right in his face. This guy is useless, what good is he? What use is he, right? And it's not to say that people are pieces of meat that are meant for production, but you've got to be able to serve people. That's your only value in this world. How are you serving people? So you, you enjoy strength? How are you gonna serve people through the idea of strength? That should be at the top of your mind. And recognize that you can't serve people in an effective and efficient way if you're not great, if you're not awesome, if you're not the best at it. Elliot said, Elliot. what?